This may be an ordinary work day, but it was a great moment for plenty of movie lovers. At around 9:30 this morning, the cinema in Shanghai's Changning District welcomed its first audience in almost half a year. They just couldn't wait to watch the film *A First Farewell*, which debuted today. Tickets for the film sold out in one hour. We'll have 13 screenings today, but in the past, we usually had more than 40 a day. There's now a one-and-a-half-hour break between each screening for a thorough disinfection. Four of the showings have sold out. Well-known TV host Wang Han held a live stream on e-commerce platform Taobao Saturday night, selling tickets for the newly released movie. More than 5 million people watched and bought almost 10,000 tickets. People never stopped wanting to watch movies, but theater closures during the pandemic hurt the cinema companies badly. China's biggest movie theater operator, Wanda Film Holding, reported a loss of more than 1.5 billion yuan in the first half of the year. Jingyi Media lost more than 300 million yuan. The theaters are now back in business, but are still restricted to only 30 percent of normal audience capacity. Is there any way for them to get out of the woods? As a first step, Wanda Film signed a new deal with IMAX last week to expand their partnership, which will enable the company to upgrade to the latest IMAX screening technology in its 10 top-grossing cinemas, including Beijing CBD Wanda IMAX and Shanghai Wujiaochang Wanda IMAX. Ten additional systems will be installed in new locations. IMAX is providing the expensive systems on a revenue-sharing basis rather than asking the cinemas to pay for them up front. Wanda is figuring that more moviegoers will focus on a high-quality movie experience, such as IMAX. Though cinemas suffered a lot during the pandemic, many leading companies are investing, bucking the trend. They're trying to establish a top-tier cinema chain with a high reputation, which will be good for their long-term development. Several A-share stocks in the film sector got a big boost today from the news that China will reopen cinemas in low-risk areas. Beijing Hualu Baina jumped by the daily limit this morning to 6.3 yuan. Other companies such as Talent Television and Film, China Film and Huayi Brothers all saw their stock prices rise. Gu says the hard times have forced some immature hot money to quit the movie sector and that that should create a healthier financial environment for the film industry long term. Most of the unprofessional funds have quit, leaving only long-term funds with solid roots in the film industry. This is a very good opportunity for a thoroughgoing reform in the sector. Companies are now returning to their core capabilities, which is producing high-quality work. After this reshuffle, the survivors will be able to grow stronger in the future. Aiding the recovery is the fact that the first major film event to take place in China since the virus outbreak is on the way. The 23rd Shanghai International Film Festival will begin Saturday and run until August 2nd. Some cinemas are already getting ready. We have reduced the number of film screenings this year. Each hall will have five screenings a day instead of six or seven. The film festival should give a lot of encouragement to the movie lovers. More moviegoers should be returning to cinemas after festival. Theater capacity during the film festival will still be capped at 30 percent, which means about 600 people at a time will be able to view a film at the theater. Ticket sales for the film festival's international show started today at dianying.taobao.com. Films will be shown at 29 cinemas around the city, but tickets will be sold only online. Zhang Shixuan, ICS First, CGTN, Shanghai.